What's up guys? So welcome back into Venture Resolve 17. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at magic masks. Now, uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, go ahead and check it out because what we're doing here right now is the proxy I already have turned on right here. So if you don't know how to do that, check out my pre previous video because I did show you how to do that. So uh, we have a clip here about five seconds long. And like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the magic masks. So go ahead and the color tab. And as you can see right here, there's a lot of good stuff that just added. We got a color warper right here, but magic masks is actually right here. So magic masks is pretty much a way that you can mask or rotoscope an object automatically, which is insane, right? So let me go ahead and show you what this is. Now, this is really good for secondary corrections when you're trying to make specific correction to a certain part of the image like face or a person or the background. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the proxy because I want the highest quality po possible here is a 4K footage from the R5. And in, in Magic Masks, you can do person or features. You can do face, arms, clothing. We're gonna do person first so I can show you this. And it's really easy. All you have to do is click this little eyedropper plus and make sure you have the eyedropper qualifier here turned on. And all you have to do is if we want to mask the whole entire person just like that press play and that's it now the venture resolve is going to try and create a mask for this individual now what we're doing right here is good for exposure adjustments and i'm going to show you that in a second okay now it's finished and if you want to check your mask let me go ahead and turn this off if you click right here mask overlay you're going to see how da vinci did and with just a click of a button, that looks incredible. And I think it's using their new neural engine to do this automation, which is insane. This is way better than creating a window and tracking it. That's so precise. So what we're going to do is turn this off. And like I said, this is good for exposure control. So if I invert this now, you see the mask. I inverted the masks. Now I'm selecting the background. And what I can do is drop that exposure. I'm gonna turn it off. Now I'm making the background darker. See that? Control F. And obviously you can see the edges here, which we can refine. We can click this stroke and blur it if need be. And I'm gonna go somewhere extreme so you can kind of see it. There you go, 50. Look at that. And just like that, you can now change the brightness of the background. Or if you want, you can change the brightness of the talent. See that? Crazy stuff. This is, this is some black magic stuff right here. All right? So that being said, you can do quality better. You can do all kinds of stuff like shrink it, grow, opening, closing. You can blur it. Obviously, as you guys saw, it made a lot of difference. But what we're going to do now is do a face one. All right, so I'm going to delete this, Alt S to create a new serial. We're going to go to features and we're going to go to face. All right, we go back and we're going to turn on our qualifier again, eyedropper, and we're just going to go on our forehead. Press play. Okay, it's done tracking. We're going to go ahead and check and see how it did. And look at that. This is, man. And it's kind of cool because when I started learning DaVinci Resolve in 2013, 14, I knew this program was something special. And I switched over because it's an edit page, it's a color page, and now they're doing a lot more stuff in here. And this here is absolutely insane. If I turn it off, now I can just make adjustments to her face. And like I said, I can blur that. If I go to stroke, blur, I'm going to blur that a little bit. That's, that is some powerful stuff. And you can add more here if you want. Okay? All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.